You've been waiting. You've been asking for it. Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw. Today, we are going to unbox the new to us. I know there's a few people that have already gotten their hands on it. I'm jealous. I wish we were that cool. But we just got in after months and months of waiting. The Steel FS 561 brush cutter clearing saw, whatever terminology you want to use for it. This thing is a beast. I've been doing a little bit of reading up on it. Been doing some of the spec gathering, trying to get my, my head wrapped around what's unique about this, what sets it apart, what makes it an awesome new tool. But let's start out. Let's just, let's get into this here, right? Let's cut into this box and get a look at what we have in this steel FS561 brush cutter. So I had it on my knife today. So if you have one of those steel orange screwdrivers that came with your tool, Works really well for breaking the tape. Here we go. So the Steel FS561, guys, is made to run a blade primarily. I mean, you can run a line head, but it's made to run a blade. It's made for clearing large stuff, large diameter material. Uh, it can run a line head. They've got all kinds of options there. But here we go. Let's crack this open. The unveiling of... The Steel FS561. What do we got in the box? We have their Advanced Forestry Harness. So we got come standard with a double harness here, the Advanced Forestry Harness. Very comfortable harness. Personally, if I were uh, using this machine much, I'd probably look at the Extreme Harness. So set that aside. We've got a blade guard. Something to protect. So when you got the blade on, just cut protect that. We've got a blade. This is a new style blade for steel. It's called the Woodcut 250-26. Uh, it's just under 10 inches in diameter. Let's take a look at this. I mean, it looks similar to other blades that we've seen before, but, but possibly a little bit different uh, pitch on the blade. It could be a little bit larger diameter. So coming in just under 10 inches. So this blade, from what I have seen and heard, we can cut like 8-inch diameter trees. So we're talking clearing some stuff. This isn't talking little saplings, although why not? It could do that too. But it's really designed to get into doing some clearing. Put this blade here away. Forget it. We'll, we'll do that in a minute. We've got a new large protective deflector that is designed to be ran with your trimmer head okay so you see that there's all these no 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 and then right on the end yes a line head so you could run the auto cut 56-2 i believe it is called or the duro cut 40-4 so you could run a fixed line head or you could run a bump head on this and it's a 22 inch diameter uh, swath when you're running the line head Got our owner's manual. This is something you're going to want to read, check out, learn a little bit about it. Because, again, I'm just unboxing this. What do I know about it? We have our limit stop uh, guard to protect. So when you're running a saw blade, you run the limit stop. The handle. Check that out in a minute. Quick adjust. My tools, along with my thrust plate in this bag, we'll need this. So let's get this opened up here just a minute. So this is a FS561. It weighs, uh, I got to cheat, 22 and a half pounds. So it's not light. That's why we want that double harness. But it's putting out 3.85 horsepower. 3.85 horsepower. That's big. Uh, it's a 57, 58 cc engine. So it's a, it's a good size engine. Like I said, it's got some weight. Well, some of that weight comes right here. Check this out. This is almost one and a half inches. It's like 1.49 inches in diameter. 38 millimeter drive shaft here. And then check out that gearbox right there. It's beefy. It's massive. It's designed to cut those big, big timbers, the big material, not big timbers, but you know, those four, five, six inch diameter trees, a, a clearing saw of sorts. Multiple hookup spots 
for my harness to find that balance point, to find the load balance point. Take a look at this throttle. I should be putting it together while we're at it. So it's very common with steel now. We're seeing a throttle, just a kill switch. So right on the throttle, I've got a kill button. I shouldn't say switch. Kill button and then a return to run, ready to go again. Got your adjustment that you can make to your throttle cable as it stretches. It has the uh, return to run choke. So when I squeeze the trigger, clicks the choke off. It's got the purge primer here on it. I'm told this has a lasto start. Yes, it's not only an elasto start, but this has an easy start engine. So I'm going to put this down. I don't want to do it that way. I want to protect that a little bit. There we go. Put that down there. Oh my goodness. Pulling over 57, 58 cc's like that. Beautiful. That's going to be a dream to to start, especially as I start to get a little older. And this, here we've got a couple of, uh, well, a thrust uh, washer along with the nut and in the glide cup, I think we call it, to keep you out of the dirt and protect it. So let's start, let's get this handle on here. There's a spring that came in it, that's gonna go on the bottom here. And that's wrong. Nope, that's right. Tighten that up. This has Steel's Imtronic, right? So it's a, it's the smart. We're seeing this come through on some of the chainsaws. The advantage of that Imtronic is adjusting the ignition and carburation to work together to get you maximum power, maximum output. That's a that's a big add right there. That's just going to keep you more efficient in the field. Uh, we talked about the huge shaft diameter, the big gearbox, the stuff that's designed to take the meaty brush. And it's putting out 3.75 horsepower. That's big horsepower, right? That's for, for a weed eater, for a string trimmer, for a brush cutter. Depending on, on what you're used to, a lot of your homeowner stuff is putting out a horsepower, maybe a little bit over. So this is, this is almost four times as much horsepower. And also hitting a much higher... Uh, RPM load range. So, all right, tightening up that throttle handle there. Perfect. Now, I kind of like this. Once that's done, stick it right over. It acts as like a kickstand, so it's nice and easy to work on now. So, I'm going to set my thrust plate on, center that in there. And we're going to go with the wood cut blade. Just throw stuff around, Josh. Hey, it's directional, right? When I'm running a, a saw blade of sorts, I always want to be able to read it, read the writing while I'm running it. Otherwise, the rotation is wrong and you won't cut much at all. Again, this might take me a little bit. Like I said, this is my first time, right, pulling this thing out of a box. We've had a customer here waiting on it for... I want to say six months. We knew it was coming. We've just been waiting for it to hit. So pretty exciting to see these new developments come across. Um, just in, in the engine technology, there's not tons of crazy new stuff on, on here, but just the way they keep making it easier to start uh, on, the, on the rope and on the choke and on the kill switch or kill, kill button. A uh, nice anti-vibration system built into that handle. It's a four-point AV system near the engine and then by the handle shock mounted kind of to keep you uh, just comfortable, right? Um, you're, you're in this for hours. Maybe not hours. Nah, probably hours. You're going to take a break. You're going to run out of fuel in about an hour. It's got a huge tank, but you will run through some fuel. Let's pop this blade on here like so. I forgot that I had cracked that open. So here's our thrust washer, right? You've got convex and concave. So this has to go on convex so that it applies pressure down onto the blade. I call this the UFO disc, okay? Glide cup, kind of keeps the stuff out of the dirt, protects the, the nut and the threads of the shaft. And it's reverse thread, so I'm gonna simply 
spin this a few times. Find my locking pin. That's going to be right in the bottom of the gearbox coming up right here, maybe. There it is, right on the back. Okay, so it still goes straight in, just near the back, not the front like I'm used to on some of the other models. Find that lock point right there. Okay, there we go, guys. The Steel FS 561. I'm going to get into a little bit more. I'm going to finish making sure it's good to go. Uh, and I'm going to throw some fuel in. So watch the next video. It's going to be me first start of the Steel FS 561. 3.75 horsepower, Mtronic engine, easy start, huge one and a half inch diameter uh, dry or shaft outer drive tube, massive gearbox, roughly a 10 inch uh, wood cut blade. So it's ready to cut and clear undergrowth. All right, excited to fire this up. See you soon. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.